The biggest addiction in America is attention. That's right. We are addicted to attention. Can't get enough attention. Fiending for likes. Just fiending. We used to want love. Now we just want likes. <laughs> Posting up pathetic pictures. This is me eating sushi, like me. <laughs> this is me 25 years ago when I was hot, like me. <laughs> oh, it's fucking sad, man. Just feeling for attention, addicted to attention. And how do you get attention? Four easy ways to get attention. Number one, easiest way to get attention. Show your ass. Show your ass. You will get attention. Even if you don't got ass. That's the world we live in. It's like Black China has more followers than Gail King. Because China is showing that ass. That's right. So number one, show your ass. Number two, easiest way to get attention is to be infamous. Yeah, do some fucked up shit. Shoot up a school. Try to stab Dave Chappelle at his show. I heard about that. That's right. Infamy. You will get attention. Number three. Easiest way to get attention. That's right. To be excellent. That's right. Like Serena Williams, greatest tennis player to ever play the game. Absolutely excellent. Being excellent will get you attention. But it's hard being excellent. You got to get up in the morning. <laughs> you got to work out. You got to practice. It is much easier to show your ass. That's right. That's right. And the number four easiest way to get attention, number four, is to be a victim. He was like, ooh, where he going with this? Don't get me wrong. There's, there's, no, there's no victim shaming going on, no. No, 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 no. There are real victims in this world. There are people that have gone through unspeakable trauma. And they need your love. They need your support. They need your care. But if everybody claims to be a victim, when the real victims need help, ain't nobody going to be there to help them. Okay? And right now we live in a world... Where the emergency room is filled up with motherfuckers hey. with paper cuts. Good God. Pause, pause, pause. He is preaching. He is telling, spitting. This is not even spitting facts. He's vomiting. He's getting it all out. Okay, everything Chris Rock says is the truth right now. When he talks about social media and attention the crave the crave the need to have somebody somebody affirm you you're so dependent on people liking you when that you find that every single thing you do is geared towards getting people to like you you want you you bring out the little little things about your toes about your like People are using their children these days. It's one thing if you're an adult and you signed up for the publicity, but now people are using their kids. They're going around, my child is this, my child is that. And they 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 are they are feeding that cycle because they they're hungry and attention. I remember reading about a YouTube family that adopted a child and then returned the child. You can't imagine what they did for attention you can't imagine what they because at some point i think that was during the period i don't know if angelina julie was adopting i mean i know she has a, a black daughter right and this family picked up a child a different race i can i can even talking about it, it it it's it can bring tears to my eyes so people are exposing your body talk about only fans listen you're an adult you can do whatever you want with your body if you decide you want to show it to the world for 10 bucks listen hey women are getting rich overnight on that i remember reading about a mother who decided to expose her body and she was not able to pay her bills prior to then prior to that time and she got an only fans account and now she's making like twenty thousand dollar months i was like goodness gracious i went to law school <laughs> I went to law school.
school. I've never <laughs> gotten a $20,000 a month in my life. Like, look at, and she just is spreading it for the world to enjoy. She's like, listen, I'm not a virgin. There's no need to pretend. I've had two kids. I've lived my life. Now I need money. The pandemic, something, something set me back. I can't stay at home. I can't take care of my, and she did what she had to do. Black China is doing, like, you find that it's almost, I remember discussing with one of my patrons and he was saying that it's almost like people are making education, the art of learning and going to school. It's becoming offensive and useless, right? You're telling people that, oh, you need doctors, you need nurses, you need these people. But people who are showing your ass, you're paying them more money than you're paying the healthcare professionals that you're willing to pay your lawyer. Like, it's so... It's, it, it hurts for some people who don't want to do that. Then he talked about being infamous. I think the slap with Will Smith, but Will Smith was already famous prior to that. But people are doing crazy things. Tell me why anyone would want to stab Dave Chappelle. It's a different thing if you decide to have a battle of words with him. Why go out of your way? Going to schools, hurting kids, like that in its, that is so terrible to me. I, do, I don't, I, I, I can't even finish that sentence. Then he said something about being excellent, being at the top of your career, um, being at the top of your sporting career, being at the top of anything that you, you just being an excellent, crafty, intelligent and when I say crafty, I don't mean cunning, but just artistic in your field gets your attention. And then he talked about victims. People are coming out with stories of, oh, you hurt me. This is hurt, hurtful to me. Oh, you're, you're, you're Karen. Oh, you're, no, I won't say you're Karen is like, calling someone a Karen is a victim. But it's almost like every, everybody is just, um, I, I'm I'm hurt by this. Oh, I'm offended by this. A man passes you a compliment of your skirt in the workplace and you're like, oh my God, he has, HR he must hear about this. But like, if you're that uncomfortable, why don't you say, oh, please don't pass me a compliment about my, I, I, I grew up in a culture that when something is pretty, you see it's pretty. In Nigeria, people, t you walk down the street, people are like, ah, fine girl, hey, hey, you really dress for us tonight. You even see a woman, hey, madam, you're so fine, take orange. And they give you free orange, they give you, like, it's such a beautiful, men will park their car and they'll whistle and they'll wave. They're not going to kidnap you, they're not doing anything to you, they just want to, you to know that they saw you and that you look hot. These are things that make me smile. I go over like, oh, you know, someone said I was pretty today. Oh, something. Or you do something in the workplace. They said, oh, you have to admire my brain. Honey, you've not said anything for us to know that the brain is functioning. You didn't say anything. You're walking down the street. The first thing that I see is your physique, your dress, the colors, how you put those pieces together. When we now get into a discussion with regards politics or the 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 ozone layer, then we go like, okay, ah, oh, you're very intelligent. Yes, then I can compliment you on your. I don't know. Things things are really getting. It's difficult. It's difficult out there. Anyway, back to the topic. He said, victim. Everybody is a victim. They hurt me. They did this to me. So much so that when they now, he said something about the ER is filled with people with paper cuts. The ER is the emergency place. Where, where, wherever you, you, whenever you hear about the emergency room, where you, you think of the highest bullet wound, gunshot wound, um, axe to the head, electrocution. They said people are going there for paper cuts, for the simplest and easiest of things. People are going there. Why? Taking up time so that anyone now, it's like the boy who cried wolf. Now, whenever he starts screaming, nobody came out again because they got tired. They're like, listen, he cried wolf yesterday and we're tired of it. He's still doing the same thing. That is life. Like that is what the world is now. People have so misused the serious issues they've abused the conversation they've abused the situation and now like we're like you walk into the something yes i'm i'm sick i have a i have a paper cut and the person who here has a machete if they try to treat that person first before you like my rights have been violated i like it's the insanity everybody trying to be a victim 
people that know good and goddamn well they ain't good victims. And goddamn well. Like mm-hmm. white men. <laughs> when did white men become victims? White mm-hmm. men actually think they lose in the country. To who? <laughs> it ain't us. When's the last time you got on a black cruise ship? Or flew on a black airline? Get the fuck out of here. We don't got no money. We got some vodkas and a couple of record companies. White men actually think they losing the country. Do you believe? Did you see the Capitol riots? White men trying to overthrow the government that they run. Like, the fuck? They're like, we gotta get them out of office. Who? Us. <laughs> Did you see the Capitol riots? Like, what kind of white planet of the ape shit was that? <laughs> These motherfuckers are climbing up walls and taking a shit on Pelosi's desk. <laughs> what the fuck? What would make white men think they lose in the country? What, what, what? What, because there's no more white couples in commercials? There's no black couples either. 